Let's add the jump feature to the first person controller. This time we are working on the jump feature. Let's fire up our player controller script. In the configurations part, we will add a new variable, which is a float called the jump speed. And before we work on the jumping method, I will make a few changes to the code. First, for new velocity, instead of a local variable, I will make it a global variable, so it can be accessed across the entire script. Then I will take these few lines of code and I will move it from the fixed update method to the update method. The reason for this is that we will make use of the input.getKeyDown function. And this function works best inside the update method. Let's create a new header section called runtime. And inside, we'll declare two more Boolean variables. The first one being is grounded. And the second one is, is jumping. I'll give these Boolean variables a default value of false. This grounded variable represents whether the player is touching the ground. And its jumping variable represents whether the player is currently jumping. For ground detection, we will make use of the collision method inside a mono behavior class. At the bottom of the script, we will declare a void, which is on collision, exit, and it takes a collision parameter, and we will simply set is grounded equals to false inside this method. We will make an other method called the on collision stay method, and again it takes a collision parameter. And here we will set is grounded equals to true, and is jumping equals to false. Let's go back to the update method, and inside this method, we will simply type if is grounded and if input dot get key down key code dot space and not jumping then new velocity dot y is equals to the jump speed and also we have to set is jumping to true Let's save the script and go back to the editor. Now let's go to the player objects and set the jump speed to 5. And now let's run the game. And if I press space now, the player will jump. Another way of detecting whether the player is touching the ground is to use the ray cast. To do this, we simply type if physics.raycast and we pass the transform.position as the first parameter, like the 3 dot down, out ray cast hit, hit 1 meter, is grounded equals to true. Otherwise, it's grounded is false. So, this is another way of detecting the ground status. But for me, I prefer to use the collision methods to detect the ground status. 
So we've completed the jump feature. In the next episode, we will work on the fall damage. I'm Little Flicker and I will see you in the next episode. Stay tuned.